Hi everybody, Chad Sarno here, one of the co-founders of Good Catch Foods plant-based seafood line. Today, we're gonna show you how easy it is to throw plant-based foods on the grill. A lot of people are intimidated by plant-based, but we're gonna show you how simple it is with the ingredients, with the products. Uh, we have a great menu for you today, so let's dive in. All right, you guys, if you enjoy this video, be sure to hit the like button, also subscribe to our channel. All right, so the first thing you wanna do, obviously, is you wanna fire up the grill. What I like to do with the grills is I always put it on high heat to start off. Make sure you bring it up to heat. And then for certain items, like these classic fish burgers, I like to put those on a medium heat, around 350, 375 for the best cooking of these burgers themselves. So we're gonna start off with really assembling all of our ingredients. You know, cooking tends to be pretty stressful for a lot of people. So what I like to do is I like to prepare everything in advance. I'll prep all my veggies, I'll marinate them, I'll prep all the fixins, prep all the sauces, anything that's actually gonna be applied on the grill, I'll make sure that that is ready to go before I put anything on the grill. This way it makes it way easier and far less stressful. So what we're gonna start off with, we have some veggies, okay? It's all about putting veggies on the grill. So what I like to do for these, is I'm basically just gonna quarter them, okay? So it's really beautiful to be outside and cook. I love grilling, especially in the warmer months. So we have some zucchinis, we have some crookneck squash, okay? I have some asparagus as well. Um, I'm also gonna put corn on the cob. These were soaked in water before I actually put them on the grill. The reason I soak them in water is it hydrates the husk a little bit, that way they don't burn immediately. One of the things that you can do is you can just throw some olive oil, salt, and pepper. You're gonna add just a little bit of flavor, really bring out the flavor in the vegetables, which is really nice. But what we're gonna do here is we're gonna make a really simple dressing. I love it as a dressing, but it's also great to pour over vegetables, all right? So this is a dressing we call Mimi's dressing, my mom's dressing. Um, and this is actually in my cookbook, Wicked Healthy Cookbook. This is one of my favorite dressings, my kids love it. So I have some olive oil, plenty of olive oil. I'm gonna have some extra for a salad. So I'm gonna put in some salt. I'm gonna put in some black pepper. All right, get some lemon. Roll the lemon, just squeeze that in. Okay, so this is my favorite strainer, it is my hand. Add a little bit of garlic in there. All right, just a little bit goes a long way, so I'm just gonna add one clove to that. This is a microplane zester, one of my favorite tools. Just tap it out. All right, next I'm gonna add a little bit of plant-based mayo. All right, and this is gonna help emulsify this dressing. A little bit of plant-based mayo in there. All right, that's it, all right? I love doing these quick dressings in a jar, so you can just basically shake it up and it is ready to go, all right? So this is excellent on any kind of butter lettuce, maybe some shaved radishes, some shallots, really, really nice light dressing on its own, perfect with vegetables. I like to kind of just drizzle it over, and that way this is gonna be a ton of flavor on the grill as well. So cover those veggies, make sure they're all coated before they go on the grill, okay? Okay, so we have these marinating. Next, I have the corn, all right? So let's get these on the grill right away, all right? Now that it's on hot, I'm gonna lower it down to about, about a medium heat. All right, so the corn directly with the husks I put on the grill, all right? All right, and then these veggies, so nice. I'm just gonna go directly on the grill as well. And grilling adds so much flavor, you know? It's like you're getting that char, you're getting that smokiness, whether it be veggie burgers or good catch plant-based fish burgers like we're doing. I don't wanna dump all these out because I wanna use a little bit of this marinade to pour over them. So I have some potatoes, all right? Some potatoes. Basically just boil these off, all right? They're pretty fork tender. I'm gonna put these in the pan. We're gonna add a little olive oil in there. Okay. And we're gonna just dump these in, all right? And these are gonna cook. We're gonna get a little bit of crispness. And then what I like to do here is I like to smash them just a little bit, okay? Not all of them. You don't wanna smash them too much, but it just opens them up a little bit. Gets the, opens up the skin, gets them a little crispy. And this is just a, an awesome way to showcase baby potatoes. 
All right, that's looking awesome. Let's set that in the back. Let's get these plant-based fish burgers. Good Catch Classic plant-based fish burgers. This is one of our first products that came to market. It's a six legume blend, okay? So it's uh, pea, soy, chickpea, navy bean, lentil, and fava, okay? Lightly seasoned, a little bit green onion, little celery. They're awesome on the grill. Great if you're cooking in just a cast iron, but on the grill, I'm gonna show you a little trick to really bring out a lot of flavor with them. Okay, so what I like to do is I always just spray the grill, putting a little oil on the grill so that these are less likely to stick, okay? So I'm just gonna put two on there and two right in front. Check on these before we shut the grill. Let's kind of turn these around. And so because these have soaked a little bit in the water, they're gonna steam, they're gonna naturally steam. And they're gonna steam in their own juices, which is amazing. So we're gonna check that out in just a little bit. Zucchini and asparagus tend to cook quite quickly. So I'm just gonna move these around a little bit before I shut the grill. And so we're gonna keep in all that heat and come back in just a minute. All right, so one of the items we're gonna toss on the grill that I forgot is some grilled onion. We're gonna cook up some grilled onion. Grilled onion is excellent just to have on the side of vegetables, but also I'm gonna end up making a grilled onion potato salad, okay? So the extra onion that we don't use, we're gonna end up using just to serve on the side with veggies, but I like to get these in as close to rounds as possible, okay? All right, we're gonna add a little bit of olive oil in there just to cover it. A little bit of salt and pepper. All right, let's shift some things around and get these onions on the grill. All right, let's just move these over a little bit. It's looking good. All right, let's get these onions on. Let's check on these potatoes real quick. Yeah, those are looking good. A little bit more time on those. All right, so one of the factors you always have to consider is hot spots on your grill. Every grill is different, okay? Um, so you wanna make sure that you move some things around. Obviously, the items that need the most heat, you move around to the items that need the least heat. So this corn is doing really good. And after, after a little bit, I'm gonna put these up on the top, okay? The top burners here. But you wanna move some things around. This asparagus is looking good. So as the veggies are starting to be complete, completely grilled. I'm just gonna move these up top, make some room for the other items. Okay, so I'm gonna move these onions back. Just shifting some things around, all right? Let's check on those burgers. See how they're doing. Oh, those are looking good. All right. So typically, what I like to do when I cook these burgers is I like to add some fat in a cast iron pan when I'm cooking them on the stove. So I'm gonna make a flavored butter. We'll come back to these in just a minute. All right, so I have a plant-based butter here. I have some fresh herbs, so I'm gonna use some chives in here. A little bit of chives. Okay, so I'm gonna add a little bit of minced chives, some vegan butter. All right, I'm gonna have, just grab any kind of vegan butter works, your favorite vegan butter. All right. Need some chives in there. All right, a little bit of salt, but not already salted. Some pepper in there. And I'm gonna do just a little bit of garlic also. This will be really nice on top of those burgers. You can just use plain plant-based butter. That works as well. Just a nice little addition. Let's mix this up. Just what they call a compound butter. You can have this in your fridge. Throw it on some bread, some garlic bread. Finish off pasta. It's nice to make a lot of this when you're making it. Let's check these out. That is looking good. We're gonna just put that, just that little knob of butter on each one. And it's just gonna absorb into those burgers, make them super juicy. So nice, look at that. All right, so I have that, the remaining dressing, right? So I'm just gonna pour these over the other veggies that we have, some onions on there. We have the zucchini on there. We have the asparagus on there. Okay, these are ready. I'm gonna move these, 
Whee. The smoke's got me. Let's take off these asparagus. Those look delicious and complete. Oh, those look so good. Let's check out these zucchinis as well. Oh, that char, that is so good. That's what you want. That's flavor right there. Don't be afraid to get some flame, right? Check on those onions. Now we can add those to the hot spot. All right. Now I'm gonna grab those potatoes. Those look good. All right. So here you got a little bit of crispness, right? These are just warming up also. They're gonna be so nice in this potato salad. Warm potato salad, I love it. So we're gonna start off with a little bit of mayo, okay? It's gonna be very simple, okay? A little bit of mayo. We're gonna use some green onion in there. Celery ribs as well. Give it a nice crunch, nice freshness. Now you can clearly keep these potatoes just boiled, keep it cold. I like a warm potato salad, and especially like, it just adds another layer of texture when you're cooking off those potatoes, grilling them, smashing them like we did. Okay, I'm gonna throw some celery in there. Some really beautiful crunch. Gonna pick up some parsley, same thing. And it's about just keeping it rustic. It doesn't have to be fancy, right? So I'm just coarsely chopping that parsley, throwing that in. A little burst of freshness in there, so good. Let's do a little bit of lemon. Okay, gonna add a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, and that is it. Make sure that that's mixed up. Pour that over, just coat those. I don't have a ton of mayo in there, right? So we're just lightly coating these potatoes. And it looks so good be nice. All right, so there you have a smashed grilled potato salad. Super simple. All right, lastly, don't forget to add the grilled onions that we just threw on the grill late. So let's uh, check those out just a little bit. Again, just gonna add some nice sharpness to that. But again, keeping it a coarse chop is just so nice, okay? So you don't have to finely mince these, just adding that other layer of flavor. And the nice thing with grilling is you're getting that other layer of flavor because the smokiness, the char, and all that, right? So add those to the potato salad. And then this will be complete. Put this in a serving bowl in just a moment. Oh, that just smells good. It smells really good. Okay, we're gonna come back to that in just a minute. All right, so let's take those onions off. Those can be added veggies on that veggie platter. So nice. Some good flavor on there. Great to have on the side of a burger. These burgers look like they're done. Let's take those off as well. These are nice. Oh, they smell so good with that butter. All right, put these. These are ready to go. All right, so quickly, let's make a quick horseradish tartar sauce. All right. Perfect for these burgers. So I have some dill relish, I have some mayo, and I have some horseradish, some prepared horseradish. I'm gonna throw these on the grill, these burger buns. Let's use a little bit of this leftover butter we got. So I love a, just a soft bun for these, uh, for a fish burger. It really, really makes it. You can warm these up, you can throw them on a cast iron, throw them on the grill just for a couple seconds. I don't like them to be burnt. I don't like a crunchy bun with burgers, but I definitely like these to be warmed up a little bit. Just gonna throw those on there. All right, let's take off that corn. This is ready to go, we'll shuck this. This is the best way to cook corn. It steams itself, so delicious. You can add any kind of flavored butter at the table so people can dress it themselves. That is nice, you got a little bit of toast going on. All right, let's cut up some tomato, get some lettuce. Have some vine tomato on here. Have some bib lettuce also, and that delicious tartar, so let's Cover each side of the buns. We can serve this up. So good. 
So let's add the lettuce on top. Just want to start assembling these burgers. All right, I like to season the tomato. A little bit of pepper on there. Serve these up. Oh, so nice. These are going to be delicious. All right, let's check that out. Boy. Yes, look at that. Look at that fish burger. Amazing. This is a great way that really makes a grilling picnic so much better when you're highlighting these fish burgers. They're definitely sloppy, so make sure that you grab some napkins, roll of paper towels, and you're going to dive into these. Let's get that potato salad in a serving bowl. Oh, it looks so good. Got those little char bits from the onions and from the potatoes. All right, that is ready to go. You have some potato salad. All right, let's get a serving platter for these. And look at this fantastic picnic right here. So we have some grilled fish burgers. We have that uh, grilled potato salad. We have all those delicious grilled vegetables, right? And you get all that char, all that freshness, all that extra flavor added to it with that little bit of caramelized lemon dressing that's on there. And then we have some corn on the cob that again, once you shuck these, you can put some butter on it and you can just see how vibrant that corn is of how well those are cooked. Absolutely delicious, adds that extra layer of flavor to it and it's just a great addition to your next grill time meal. And there you have a quick 20 minute meal, you guys, featuring Good Catch plant-based fish-free burger here, one of my favorite products that we sell. So simple, 20 minute meal for your family, tossed on a bunch of veggies on the grill. If you like this recipe, be sure to subscribe to our channel. Check out goodcatchfoods.com to find select retailers where we sell our product and also more recipe inspiration. Till next time, you guys, happy grilling. I'm gonna dig in now. Oh, that is good. <laughs>